Welcome back everyone. My name is Joel Feld and today we're going to discuss organizing your photos into albums specifically using your iPad. Let's rock and roll. First and foremost, let me just say I'm in a new space. For those of you who don't know, I sold my house about a month ago. My fiance and I have been living together in a townhome, but this week we're actually in Chicago at my parents' house and I'm in my dad's shop right now. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to make a video to have this be my background in the environment to talk about some photos that I actually took in the shop a year or so ago. Let's go ahead and dive right in because today's topic is all about organizing your pictures into albums specifically on your iPad. So on my iPad, I'm going to open up photos and notice the first thing that opens up is wherever I last left it. So if I was selected on years and I exit out of photos and I go back into photos, it's going to bring me right back to where I left it. I have another video that I'll link down in the description below that gives you just an overview of photos on your iPad in general, but today's topic really is discussing the organization and creation of albums of your pictures. So on the left hand side, I'm going to scroll down to the left, I have a category called my albums. So when I touch my albums, it either collapses it or opens it up to show me all of the albums I've created. Now I have a handful of items in here, but I'm going to create a brand new one. There's a couple different ways to create albums, either based off of the current photo selection that you have, or you can create an album and then put pictures into it. There's no right or wrong way, but it's really based off of what is easiest for you. Let's say I want to find the photos first and then create an album based off of the pictures that I found. So I'm going to go to library and I could scroll through pictures and find them or better yet, I'm going to go to search and I'm going to type in shop photos or just shop. And when I do that, notice I have all of these pictures here that are from the shop. And if I touch this, I can now see the picture of my son and my dad in this shop, hence why I'm here, which is fun. But we're going to organize all of these pictures into an album so it's easy to find later down the road. So what I would do is do select and I can select all of these images and I can drag my finger also. And then I have the share button down at the bottom. And if I share, I have all of these different share choices of what to do with these photos selected. And what I want to do is choose the option that says add to album. And then it says, okay, do you want to either create a new album or do you want to add it to an existing album? Well, I want to create a new album. And again, we're back at the same place where we want to title it. So I'll title it shop pictures, touch save. And now it's automatically going to add those pictures that I've selected and put them into that album over here on the left hand side. If I want to add more photos to it, I can touch the plus sign here while in that album and scroll through the photos. Or I could again go back to the library, do a search and pull up more shop photos. Uh, let's see where this picture is actually at. So I know I took more photos of this and so here's a nice little way. Whenever you're doing a search, if I touch one of the pictures here and I scroll up on it, I can actually say show in all photos and if I touch that, it's going to bring me to the exact location and time of when I actually took those pictures and I can see a handful more and if I were to select these, I can add them to that album add to album. It's already an existing album. I don't know if I've already added some of these, but I'm going to touch shop pictures. And even if I've added them, it's not going to duplicate them. It's just going to say, hey, those pictures are already there. I'm just going to, you know, add the ones that are not there previously. And there they are. Now, I, I know I have some more of these pictures here, so I'm going to do the same thing. And yep, sure enough, I'm going to do select. I'm going to drag my finger across so that I'm able to select multiple pictures or I can just tap them. And now I can touch the share button in the bottom, go to add to album, choose shop pictures. And now if I touch shop pictures, I have all of these photographs here, nice and neat and organized for me. Now, right above shop pictures, it says all albums. If I touch that, this will actually show me all of my different albums that I have created and I can organize them in any way that I want. If I touch edit in the top right, I can actually touch and hold and move these to wherever I want them to go. If I want to delete one, looks like I already had one called shop photos from before. I'm going to press the little minus sign there and do delete and I'm going to delete that album. 
Now let's say that I want to delete this album of shop photos. If I delete it, notice it's going to say, hey, you can delete this album, but the photos are still going to be in your library. You're not actually deleting the pictures. You're just removing them out of that album. So I can touch delete there and essentially repeat the process. So now that album is gone. This is a third way to add them. If I go to all albums, I can touch the plus sign in the top and I have an option for new album and a new folder. So I'm going to go back to new album. We'll do shop pictures one last time. Touch save. And actually, nope, I'm going to choose done there. It creates that album because I don't want to scroll through a whole bunch of pictures. I want to just pull these photos right here. So we're going to select all of these pictures. Do the share option and add it to that album I just created. And now they're back there. One other thing with albums, if I wanted to rename them or sort them after they're created, uh, when the album is selected on the left hand side, I can touch the little three dots in the top right. And this gives me options of what I want to do with this particular album. So down towards the bottom, I have rename album and I can always rename it here. So I could say uh, shop pictures with dad and touch save. And then if I go back to those three little dots again, I have other options here to either filter or play a memory movie, slideshow, all sorts of choices. So you have those options as well. Now folders on the other hand is after a while you start to get lots and lots and lots and lots of different albums. So you can create a folder to subcategorize your albums. So as you can see here, I actually have a couple different folders. So if we look at photo clients, if I touch this, I actually have all of these, you know, Daniel, Viterbo, Meet Alice, Meet Ashley, all of these different albums within this one particular photo folder called Photo Clients. If I go back to albums in the top left, I could touch Summer Sunflowers. So Summer Sunflowers is the folder and 2019, 2018, 2020 Sunflowers is the name of the album. So I'm going to touch back on albums again and I'm back to square one. Again, at any time I can do edit and I can even rearrange the folders, just touch and hold on them. They kind of pop up and I can move them around and around. Notice the recents and favorites. I can't actually remove those because they're built into the ecosystem. So those are always going to be there for you. One thing I wish Apple changes in the future is the smart albums. I use smart albums a lot on my on my Mac which is really helpful to find pictures automatically by different criteria. But those pictures don't synchronize to your iPhone or iPad. I hope they do, but they don't right now. So notice if I touch all smart albums, nothing shows up there because it doesn't sync. But if I go to my Mac, I can do all smart albums. And notice I have some that say, you know, photos to delete, all drone and, air and aerial photos, uh, photos based off of my... 5D Mark IV that I took with. So I have these different smart albums for different reasons that I've created, but they just don't synchronize to your iPhone or iPad yet. Maybe someday they do. We'll see. Now, one thing when it comes to folders is I find it really kind of annoying that you have to create a folder first and then organize the albums inside it afterwards. So for example, let's say I wanted to create a winter folder and then put all of the winter albums in there. If I touch the plus sign and do new folder, I can say winter, touch save. So now I have this winter folder and I wanna put this winter family session inside of that folder, that album in that folder. Well, I can't just drag and drag it over. If I touch edit, the same thing, I can move them around but I can't actually put that album inside of that folder, which just makes no sense. Even if you go to edit in the top left, underneath the sidebar of your iPad, I can touch and hold on these little lines and reorganize the order of my folders and albums, but I can't actually put this album into this folder. I just find it really, really annoying that you can't do that. Now you can do that on your Mac, however, and it makes it a lot easier to do that, but you can't start off if you already have a whole bunch of albums, create the folders first and then put create the album in that folder afterwards. So for example, what I would wanna do is, now that I have this winter folder, I'm gonna open it, then I'm gonna to go to the plus sign, choose new album and say family photos, touch save. And now I could choose these pictures, touch done. And now I've created these family photos inside of that winter family photos folder but it doesn't let you do the reverse. So just be aware of that. Hopefully they fix that or make that an option later down the road. 
seems pretty easy to me, but as of right now, just know that you can't do that. So if you go back to your Mac, you're able to make those changes there, synchronize it, and then you're, it'll show up on your iPad. Other than that, if I wanted to delete them, we can always do edit in the top right, or when you're in, in the left sidebar, you have that edit option here and all of the minus signs, the little red circles, and then you can delete those albums. Also notice that when you have your albums here on the left, if you slightly swipe to the left with them, you have this delete option. So just be aware of that. If I swipe to the left on photo edits, I can choose delete and it will prompt me with the same message of, do I want to delete this? The photos will not be deleted, but the album will be. So I can just touch cancel to not do that. Other than that, that's pretty much albums on your iPad. It's very similar to your iPhone, just a smaller screen and a couple different changes, but overall, specifically for your iPad and creating albums, that's how we do it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you liked what you saw, hit that little subscribe button, tap that little bell, and we'll see you next time.